Welcome to Farming with Family. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to do a little how-to video on how to take an oil sample for a fluid analysis. Um, I'm getting my John Deere 9610 combine all serviced and ready to go for fall harvest. Uh, one of the things I like to do periodically is take fluid samples, especially the oil, uh, engine oil, just to see if there's any sort of contaminants or anything going on with the oil. Um, that needs to be addressed before we get going to harvest so it prevents damage to the engine. But I'll show you how to do that in this video. So one of the first things you need is to get a fluid analysis kit. Um, you can get them from lots of different places. I got mine from Butler Cat just because they have the whole kit and it comes uh, pre-postage paid when you buy the kit. I also got a pump, a transfer pump. Um, what some some uh, machines you can get it right when you drop the oil plug this combine has a since the engines kind of tucked back it has a tube that drains the oil out of and that's contaminated with dirt and whatever might swirl around in there so I'm gonna actually pull it out where I fill the oil with or fill out I'm gonna pull it out from where I put the oil in um, so that's some of the things you need and I'll show you how to fill out the form after you get the oil sample but it's gonna pull it out with this tube put it in this little bottle you put a cap on there and that's your sample next thing I like to do is start the engine let it warm up for a little bit get all the fluids moving uh, so if there's any filings or stuff that settled to the bottom it gets those moving around and gets them suspended run for a little bit and then we'll shut it off and we'll pull the sample right after that okay it's been running for a few minutes so we're gonna go ahead and shut that off and get our oil sample okay we're gonna climb up here to where the engines at the engine is tucked underneath the grain hopper here's my fill cap so that's where I'm gonna pull it out of this is also the dipstick. Set this aside. Then I'm going to prop you up and we'll get the sample pulled out. Put our straw down. And we'll pull off. Get my oil to come out there. And there we go, that's full enough. We'll pull this out, try not to make too much of a mess. This is where you realize you probably should have brought a paper towel. But you live and learn. All right, got the sample. Okay, I'm gonna take out my tube, or the straw, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna unscrew my sample. You just wanna make sure to keep everything as clean as possible. Otherwise, you're gonna get a false reading on contaminants. So that's all nice and clean. I already opened this up, so I got to put my cap back in here. Get that sealed up nice. <clears throat> then this is the uh, outer bottle or container that you're going to send it in. They send it with a slip that I will fill out. I'll show you that. Okay, one of the last things is you fill out the form. You just say what what the model is, serial number, what fluid you're doing, how many hours are on it, the date, uh, what you replace the fluid with, if you change the filter or not, all those things. So you just fill that out, and then you wrap it up, <clears throat> put it back in the uh, little bottle that they have to send everything in. That way it doesn't get damaged in transit. Make sure this is all clean, you're not dripping oil all over your slip 
put the cap on. It comes with a uh, envelope that's postage paid. Stick it in the mailbox, and usually in about a week or so, you get your fluid analysis back. The other thing I make sure I do, they give you a UP, USPS tracking number. <clears throat> I definitely take a picture of that and keep that for my records because in the past they have lost one of these somehow. Who knows if it was in the mail or oh, they just misplaced it, but that's frustrating when you send that in and you don't get it. So that's the one uh, negative experience I've had, but otherwise it's usually pretty quick. And then you get an email once they get the fluid analysis done, if everything's good, if anything needs to be addressed. Sometimes if stuff needs to be addressed, they'll give you tips of what to start with. Um, but I like to do this. Oh, the combine, I change the fluid once a year. It doesn't get a ton of hours, like this had 140 hours, but combines kind of get a, get a hard life. They get stored for about 10 months out of the year and then when they do get used, they're ran wide open and under heavy loads. So it's just good to good to check those out. Um, but yeah, it can prevent a lot of a lot of expensive costs, especially if you're getting, say, like coolant in the engine oil or fuel. So there's just a lot of a lot of things you can do to prevent further damage and save yourselves a lot of money. But anyways, this is my video about how to do a fluid sample analysis and get that sent off. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Welcome back to JNS Heinrich. Ugh.